this video, we will be starting with another animal and we will try to understand the complete organization, the external features as well as the internal structure that is morphology and anatomy. And the animal that we are starting with is cockroach. Now when we talk of cockroaches, we will be talking about one special type of cockroach which is the American variety. But cockroaches are found everywhere in all types of climatic conditions, warmer, colder, humid, every place. And the reason for their occurrence everywhere is mainly or rather there are two main reasons. One, they are omnivorous that means they can feed on anything which is available and second they have chitinous exoskeleton. This chitin the substance which makes their exoskeleton is a highly resistant substance so which enables them to survive in warmer conditions as well as colder conditions. So there are two species one is an American variety of cockroach which is called Periplaneta Americana and the oriental variety or the Indian variety is called Blata Orientalis. So these are the two main varieties that we normally talk of. We will be talking about the structure of Periplaneta Americana. This is the common American cockroach and this one is the oriental one. The body of cockroaches is divided into three main parts that is head, thorax and abdomen. Now this head is connected to the thorax with the help of a very a small and delicate neck which is actually an extension of the thorax. So we basically talk of three parts that is head, thorax and abdomen. We'll be talking about all the detailed structures later on but briefly head is made up of six segments. There are mouth parts which are biting and chewing type. The mouth is hyponatus, hyponatus mouth. Natha is the opening, oral opening and it is hypo. Reason is if the body is like this, the head is at right angles and this is the place where the mouth is. So mouth is downwardly directed and that is what is called hyponatus. That means the head is at right angle to the body. So this would be the body and this vertical thing would be the head. So head is at right angle. Mouth parts are biting and chewing. There are separate mouth parts which we will discuss in detail later on. Thorax is three segmented and these segments are known as prothorax. mesothorax and metathorax. Abdomen is 10 segmented. Now when we talk of all these segments that means from outside we can see various segments. Thorax also three segments, abdomen also our 10 segments are visible. Now when we see these segments, what exactly is present? There are sclerites. Sclerites means pieces of chitin. There is one piece at the top which is the dorsal piece. One piece is going to be on the ventral side that is lower side. And there are two pieces which are going to be connecting these two pieces. These pieces, chitinous pieces, chitinous exoskeletal pieces are called sclerites and depending upon the side they are called targa, sternum and pleura. 
Targum is the dorsal piece. Sternum is the ventral piece. And these are lateral pieces. That means if we draw these pieces, how are they going to be visible? This would be the targum, that is the dorsal one. This is sternum. And targum and sternum, they are connected by these lateral pieces. So this one is targum, this is sternum or sterna, and this is pleura. How are these pieces connected? There are delicate membranes which hold these pieces together. And these membranes are known as arthropodial membranes. We will be drawing only the diagram which is showing these structures and we will also see what all parts are there in this thoracic region. So if we see the cockroach from the dorsal side, what is visible to us is this head and in this head we find two large compound eyes. And as I said, we will be talking about the detailed structure of head later on. And there are these two long antennae which are sensory structures. The head is connected to the thorax with the help of neck. But if we see it from the dorsal side, the neck is not visible to us. Reason? There is a triangular piece which actually covers the little part of the head. So if this is the head, this piece is going to come like this. So the neck is here and the upper piece comes over it. So we don't see that neck thing. This first part is the top piece that is the dorsal piece that we are talking of this is the targum this is actually prothorax then there is a smaller piece which is mesothorax then there is the third piece which is metathorax and behind it is a 10 segmented abdomen so one two three this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now in cockroaches, in the 10th abdominal segment, we find two extensions or two structures which are segmented structures. These are called anal sarsi. And these two structures... They are common in males as well as in females. So this is what is visible to us from dorsal side. So the pieces which are there, they are the targal part. That is the targum that we are, that is visible to us. Thorax has two main structures, walking legs and wings. Walking legs are present in each thoracic segment. So let me draw the legs first. So here would be one, then the mesothoracic and then the metathoracic leg. So there are these three pairs of legs. This is prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. So thorax has three pairs of walking legs and depending upon the segment we call it prothoracic leg this will be called mesothoracic leg and this one will be metathoracic leg we'll study the detailed structure of the leg also in the thorax there are two pairs of wings also. So on one side we have drawn the legs, we'll draw the wings on this side. The wings are mesothoracic and metathoracic. And they arise from the junction of the pro and meso, meso and meta. So when we draw these wings, we'll show the wings open. 
there is the wing which is mesothoracic that means it is going to arise from this junction it is a large wing and this wing covers the complete body of the animal this is darker this is anterior or mesothoracic wing it is known as elytra or tagmina it is brown color little thicker and its function is to protect the body or cover the body when the insect is in rest the second pair that is the one which is metathoracic is below this that means it is going to be the first one and then this tagmina will cover it so if we see it from the top we would see tagmina if tagmina move then only the second that is posterior or metathoracic wings would be visible metathoracic wings would be from here and they are transparent wings thus this particular one is the posterior or metathoracic wing it is transparent and its function is flight it helps in flight that means this is the one which would help the cockroach to flight or for flight but this one is protective so its job is protection whereas the posterior one is going to help in flight though they do not fly a great distance but whatever flight they can show that is by the posterior or metathoracic wings which normally remain hidden under tegmina so when we see cockroaches from outside just from the dorsal side if it is at rest we may not see all these segments because this would be covered with tegmina so we have shown tegmina and the metathoracic spread out so that we are able to see all the segments now there are differences between males and female cockroaches which we'll take up little later now we have understood what are the basic parts in the next part we'll start with the head region we'll talk about mouth parts how the eyes are and what are these six pieces and how are they arranged